New England Patriots rookie wide receiver Kayshawn Booty is in some serious trouble with the law over allegations of gambling while he was underage and while he was playing college ball. He was arrested, booked in jail yesterday on a felony count of computer fraud and a misdemeanor charge of underage gambling, according to Louisiana State Police. And they say there could be more charges. The affidavit for Booty's arrest warrant says FanDuel contacted police to report a possible college athlete making bets under aliases, one of them his mother's. The investigation alleges nearly 9,000 bets over a year, more than half a million dollars staked or wagered, bets on himself, all of that. But Booty is not accused of throwing games. I reached out to FanDuel. It won't comment. I've reached out to gaming regulators in Louisiana. I have yet to hear back. But this raises a lot of questions about integrity in the game and the integrity of betting. Let's dive in further here with Danny Savalos, who's a criminal defense attorney and NBC News legal analyst. And Steve Grasso joins us back as well. Um, Danny, walk me through a little bit the significance of charging a kid. He turned 21 last year. For a year, he was doing some serious gambling, gambling that wasn't permitted under aliases, which is where the um, charges about computer fraud presumably come in. Yeah, the biggest problem here for him is clearly the felony computer fraud, both on the uh, criminal front and then, of course, on the NFL discipline front. Two different paths here. On the criminal side, the felony, of course, is the bigger deal. And it's also the bigger deal in terms of discipline with the NFL. Any felony will get someone under NFL's personal conduct policy, will subject them to discipline and I believe an automatic administrative suspension. Strangely enough, the NFL's gambling policy has been relaxed, at least as to betting that doesn't involve NFL teams or the really the worst offense is betting against your own team or betting on your own team in the NFL. Betting on college is actually allowed for players, but not NFL personnel. It is really, really confusing. Also punishable for an NFL player is betting on college sports but at an NFL facility or on an NFL trip. There's, As you can see, it's incredibly complex. Yeah, and, and uh, the NFL just changed its policy on suspensions regarding if you get caught. It's two years if you get caught betting on professional football. But in this case, we have no indication that Booty bet on professional football or even as a, as a professional player. The allegations that we have seen written out and the charges against him have, have to do with him betting as a student athlete in Louisiana and betting underage. I'm curious, could there be more charges coming, for instance, against his mother, whose uh, identification he allegedly used, um, or against the other, there is a, the other alias he used is a real person. We don't know whether that was permitted, whether she gave permission for her identity be, to be used or not. But could other individuals be on the hook? Yes, potentially. But even if there are other individuals on the hook, it won't get this defendant off the hook. Uh, he is not going to be able to pass off liability unless he can make an argument that these were the people who were really involved in the gambling. Uh, but that is his biggest uphill battle is fighting the fraud charges and the misdemeanor charges. And strangely enough, as long as betting on college sports didn't happen at an NFL facility, NFL players and players alone are actually allowed to do that. It's really the criminal allegations that are the biggest problem for this player because of the NFL's personal conduct policy, which, again, as you point out, Hap, this, these things are alleged to have happened while he was a student while he was a and student. not yeah, a exactly. player. So that might be an out as well. Yeah, that, I was just noticing that. I mean, this looks like it took place between 2022 and the spring of 2023 while he would have been a student at Louisiana, uh, LSU, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. LSU, and he put 8,900 bets down in a year? My exactly. goodness. Exactly right, yes. And so the other concern, I think, might be, and there's really been no reporting of this, but whether or not the NFL becomes interested to find out, well, what has he been doing since he became an adult? Because obviously these allegations arose out of conduct by a minor, by an underage person who alleged to be gambling. But if the NFL decides to conduct its own investigation, yeah. see what he's been doing since then, uh, they may find additional information that could be problematic for him, not and, and you, criminally. And, and I know for sure that other sports books are looking at their records to see whether they have exposure.